Hi, thanks to join me. This is Aditya in this series that is 300 115 switch or CC NP 2.0 switch. We are going to discuss layer 2 technology under layer 2 technology VLAN in related topic. So I have already created and uploaded a dedicated documents for this video. Sometimes difficult to find the appropriate topic about VLAN. If you do Google, you may find thousands of links. So this is sometimes difficult to find out the appropriate one for your certification or that you are looking for. So I hope so from very beginning when you start your CCNA you know the VLAN and uh, the little bit terminology about VLAN, how to configure and how to do rest of thing. Since in this video I am going to recall those things apart from this I am uh, mention here something else that was not part of CCNA but it was obviously it is a part of CCNP. So, Yes, we know very well uh, CC, sorry, <laughs> from the CCNA, a VLAN is a layer 2 isolation of traffic. A VLAN is equal to a broadcast domain is equal to a subnet. Why we use VLAN? For better resources utilization, for quality of services and logically group users in security. So, if we discuss about number of VLAN, so we have number of VLAN from 0 to 4095 that means total 4096 VLAN but some of VLANs are reserved some of VLANs are used to something do different so let us discuss little bit on that topic. So VLAN 0 and VLAN 4095 these two VLAN actually the reserve VLAN we cannot see if we execute command so we land on any switches. Uh, 1000 sorry 1 to 1000 um, <laughs> 1 to 1002 to 1005 are default VLAN means 1 and 1002 to 1005 this is the default VLAN that is already created already exist in switches that we cannot delete or modify obviously we can use but we cannot delete these VLAN since these are known as the default VLAN and the 1006 to 4094 these VLAN range or number of VLAN known as extended range it only work while your switch working VTP mode as a transparent until and unless your switch is not working in transparent mode you cannot able to use or utilize these VLANs and from VLAN 2 to 1001 1006 to 4094 these VLAN use for Ethernet and you can means you can modify it, you can delete, you can change something. Obviously VLAN 1 also you can use for Ethernet but since VLAN 1 is default VLAN as well you cannot change or modify the database of VLAN. So this is the brief about number of VLAN and sometime also it is depend on your switch model as well as the iOS version and uh, let us see type of VLANs. So VLAN data VLAN that we use normally to connect our devices like computer, printer and so on and so forth. Wise VLAN sometimes also known as auxiliary VLAN that use for IP phone for wise over IP transmission. Private VLAN for security purpose uh, and this topic that we are going to discuss in upcoming video. Right now this is just enforcing your concept that we have discussed already in VLAN I think so, sorry in CCNA. 
management we learn uh, we learn that has the ip address and all those things so that we can take telnet or ssh from uh, remotely extended vlan is nothing special as we discussed if your switch is working on vtp transparent mode then after we can able to utilize extended range of vlan or a type of extended vlan a native vlan used for backward compatibility a native vlan send and receive untagged frame over trunk link by default and we know we can change it so private vlan and some other vlan that will be part of upcoming video we'll discuss later in this series uh, as well so as we know we have two way to assign host or node to the particular vlan one on the one way is by port basis once you created vlan to particular switch you know uh, you need to go through the particular port or range of port range of port and then after you can assign to particular vlan so suppose in this way you assign four port suppose port 1 port 2 port 3 and port 4 for vlan 4 this will always use four port for vlan 4 means it dynamically not going to change until and unless administrator assign port number 4 to some other vlan suppose that if you find that currently you have three pcs that belong to vlan 4 and port number 4 is vacant now you want to uh, means put that uh, a particular machine to vlan uh, some other vlan like vlan 3 so first you need to go to uh, the configuration and then after assign this port to vlan 3 so sometimes this is difficult to perform this task so that's why you have uh, another option uh, assigning host or nodes by mac addresses this is very efficient utilization of your port and in fact there is security as well more security than the um, port basis assignment of vlan but in this case you may required a server known as vmps server so vmps server a higher series of switch that running as a vmps server in some other switch, uh, switches that may be not equivalent to higher switch they will work like a client if any device going to connect that particular port your switch going to send the mac address did, uh, mac addresses to the server vmps server so that vmps server take decision whether it pc belong to or whether it vlan uh, sorry which vlan it pc belong to so this is the vlan creation way or method you can say we can create vlan using a global uh, command prompt either vlan database command prompt or directly we can select particular interface in assign to vlan if that vlan not exist immediately your switch or your ios going to assign that vlan one more thing i would like to mention so most of thing we need to suppose we uh, made some changes in your switches or router so every time you required copy running config to start up config but once you create vlan it automatically going to save inside vlan dot dat file on flash so you don't need to, <laughs> you don't need to run command copy running in startup automatically it going to create that vlan and store on vlan database so you don't need to bother to store vlans and uh, hmm <laughs> some other things uh, let discuss vlan port and roles sorry vlan port roles so as we know every technology like spanning tree vlan and rest of if you talking about uh, some other technologies uh, somehow they assign particular role to particular port to particular device like if you talking about vtp so some devices going to mean some switch going to work like a server some of transparent and client and off <laughs> uh, we'll discuss 
so hmm right now we talking about the ports ports role access port a uh, access port basically belong to one vlan and uh, it could be part of two vlan i should say uh, if you connect ip4 until and unless you not connecting ip4 it will be work within single vlan in a trunk port a trunk port is a port that able to carry multiple vlan data using something known as tag it can deal with tagged in as well as untagged frame the frame can, uh, can be tagged by isl or dot 1 queue by default is dot 1 queue tagging enabled a device sorry a device port may be also work like a dynamic auto that is default mode a dynamic auto is negotiate another end suppose we have two switch connected back to back so if this is working auto and this is working as a trunk means administratively operating as a trunk so if this port work dynamic auto they will form trunk port so i have also mentioned how it possible to form a trunk port and what is the valid mode to form a trunk port between switches hopefully it will work or it will help you lot to you to understand it better and different between dynamic auto and dynamic desire is that i should go some other example that may uh, that may clear to you so a port if one side we uh, put a roll of auto another is also auto they are not going to for uh, form a trunk link if one side running auto another side another another side running dynamic desirable a desirable means they actively looking to form trunk port so they going to form trunk port if both side running desirable obviously they can create a trunk port so will better will go through the entire docu documents but i'm not not going to step by step or line by line but obviously you know all those thing a uh, one more thing that i like to mention for ccnp 2.0 switching sometimes this is difficult to understand what is administrative mode and what is operational mode of particular port so configured to work as you can say is equivalent to the administrative mode while administrator we are administrator need to define need to execute command suppose if you have assigned particular port work as a trunk suppose so this configuration or this state or mode will known as administrative mode but maybe if you didn't assign anything and this form a trunk port so the administratively assign that is by default dynamic auto in uh, somehow a person is uh, enable trunk from this side this is going to create a trunk link so administratively that is working dynamic auto but current stated current status it working as a trunk port so the working situation is known as operational mode so currently working as operational mode that is selected by negotiation either dtp or something else uh, uh, so hmm, how we can troubleshoot the ports troubleshoot the trunk port uh, better for us we should go through the uh, practical <laughs> so let me turn on my device and then we will we discuss about rest of topic how we can create trunk how we can create uh, Port <laughs> role, how we can assign those things. Okay, now my device is up in working. Let first verify the normal range of VLAN. 
and then default VLAN that is already exist in any switch so uh, let me execute the command so VLAN uh, right there we can see VLAN 1 1,000, these are the default VLAN that cannot be deleted so that is already created in all those port that is part of your switch will part of default VLAN 1 that is by default you cannot rename the default VLAN you cannot delete the default VLAN so if you try no VLAN 1 you will get this error message default VLAN 1 may not be deleted similarly if you like to delete 1002 3 4 5 you will get same warning message so that is good if you like to create VLAN suppose VLAN uh, let's see 1100 <laughs> and, <laughs> and you going back to see or verify the number of VLAN that created we can see switch VLAN 4 creating fail because you like to create extended range that is 100 sorry 1100 this is not possible this is a VTP mode server uh, you need to run this VTP mode transparent let me do once again so VLAN 1001 if we'll type if we'll type exit you can see <laughs> so let me change VTP mode transparent and then after create that VLAN there we go now we can also verify VLAN has already created do so V it's right there <laughs> so we verified means the default VLAN normal VLAN range and extended VLAN range and now this is time to understand the way to create VLANs as I told you earlier we have three way depend on model number to create a VLAN one is from global command prompt second is from VLAN database and third is if any you selected any interface in trying to uh, associate to particular VLAN that is not exist inside your switch immediately your IO is going to create that corresponding VLAN that you are looking for so let's see if uh, I hope so my device will not support that one this is the latest version V no <laughs> it's not going to work okay so I need to show you in packet tracer so let me yep this is the packet tracer you can <laughs> you can do this thing on packet tracer so VLAN then after database and then after you can create VLAN suppose 8 VLAN 9 VLAN 10 and let me show do so VLAN excuse me do so VLAN <laughs> do so VLAN hey <laughs> so VLAN what what I'm doing man there we go excuse me so this is one way so maybe not support to your device means in up, uh, the latest device is not devices means talking about switch the latest switch not support creation of VLAN on database mode you can create VLAN from globally and as well as from the interface and uh, let me go ahead on my physical devices or Cisco gears and do so VLAN excuse me So we have VLAN 1 and 1100. What happens if we select particular interface? Suppose this is interface F0 cell slash 10, switch port access VLAN 9. 
your iOS going to create uh, VLAN that you are looking for. So uh, let verify again whether is VLAN created or not. We can see yes, port is also going to assign and v, uh, corresponding VLAN going to create to your switch. And then port, we know the port access, port trunk, dynamic and desirable. Dynamic desirable will uh, support on higher level uh, of switches. Mean that is layer 3 switch access port trunk port you can form and uh, as I told you earlier a single port can be belong to two different VLAN if you using data in wise VLAN as well so let me do this so we know port F0 slash 10 is belong to VLAN 9 so switch port voice then vlan suppose 10 so <laughs> you can see this port belong to two vlan so do so vlan you can see vlan 9 and vlan 10 so vlan 10 working as a voice vlan and vlan 9 is a working as a data vlan so that's why a port can be part of two different VLAN if your switch using uh, if that particular uh, port using for data as well as voice. So that's good. Uh, this thing I would like I highly recommend you go through the line by line that may work a lot to understand how your uh, trunk port going to form or what are the valid mode to form the trunk port another thing is administratively mode and operational mode so what is administratively mode and operational mode that we have already discussed but we need to verify so let me execute a particular command so interface f0 slash 2 and let's see how your f0 slash 2 is working like uh, i need to execute switch port i need to execute command using this keyword switch port so that we can find so this is uh, right there this is port number 2 switch port is enabled in administratively mode dynamic auto a dynamic auto means it can negotiate for trunk as well as access but right now it working as a access port what happen if another end you enable trunking automatically it going to form a trunk link so this is interface f0 slash 2 this is switch number 2 and this is switch number 1 and a switch port mode trunk so once you created trunk from one side, if your port is working as a dynamic auto, we are going to form to create a trunk link. So execute same command. Uh, excuse me. Now we can see right there, administratively mode, dynamic auto, in operational mode, trunk. So this is the way to understand what is different between administrative mode and operational mode so you can also execute command so interface trunk to verify the trunk and uh, what is the characteristics of trunk port and access port you can go line by line and understand what is the uh, exact difference between trunk port and access port encapsulation i highly recommend you need to go through the line by line so that you will be able to understand what is different between dot one q and isl since we know the we know this cisco is isl proprietary sorry isl is cisco proprietary this has no backward compatibility only support thousands of vlan and it has either uh, 56 byte and it has trailer as well uh, where your dot one q not have any trailer. So
so dynamic trunking protocol is another way or another topic of this video that we are going to discuss dtp or dynamic trunking protocol is a cisco proprietary networking protocol developed by cisco system for the purpose of negotiating trunking on link between two vlan aware switches so switch who know how to form trunk link between those switches your dtp going to work to work two things one is form trunk link and another is means uh, let me go through the example if this is switch and uh, you can create vlan on this switch if you can create vlan or this switch or these both switch understand the language of vlan so dtp going to work to create a vlan if the port are appropriate mode not only creating the vlan they also going to negotiate the vlan trunking or a tagging encapsulation what encapsulation going to apply dot 1q or isl so using dtp or a dynamic trunking protocol they form trunk as well as they also negotiate the encapsulation so this is very good documents i think so for you people so that you can able to know all those things regarding your cc and p switching topic there is some things i have already mentioned that managing vlan database in trouble switching how we can remove particular vlan how to unassign particular port to the default mode or a particular vlan or default mode deleting vlan database so make sure you can remove vlan let me go through the example if i go through step by step configure terminal no vlan 10 and no vlan 9 it was 9 i think so do so vlan obviously we deleted those vlan but since the port are assigned to that particular vlan if you reboot your switch even after deleting your vlan database your ios going to automatically create that vlan the port was belong to what i mean to say that i mean to say that suppose if you created this is a switch suppose what happened Uh, if you created vlan 2 and you assign particular port to vlan 2 and as we discuss once we create vlan it automatically going to put database inside flash that means you don't need to uh, execute the command so running config to start up config so uh, after some time you realize you don't need vlan 2 so and you deleted vlan 2 and you reboot your switch from startup mode or from startup config your switch find these port belong to vlan 2 and the vlan 2 is not exist that means go ahead and create that vlan <laughs> so please 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 take care of this i find most of person they they wonder about how it possible but it working so how we can delete vlan database we need to do three task one is we need to delete vlan that is optional and then after vlan dot dat file and then after the port that originated or belong to particular vlan except to vlan 1 so if you delete these two configuration from the switch and you forget to remove a particular vlan that was assigned to vlan 2 or vlan 3 or some other vlan automatically your switch going to create that vlan which is not exist regarding the configuration so i have also mentioned two problem sorry two problem and two solution so let me go through this line 
why port not shown while execute command switch 1 this is the switch where command is executed so vlan so it means i would like to go through the practical if you execute command so vlan and we can see we have uh, we have assigned f0 slash 10 earlier we have assigned f0 slash 10 this was the interface mm. <laughs> let me show interface f0 slash 10 uh, where it is where it is excuse me mm, right there it was VLAN. it was interface f0 slash 10 there we go so this was interface that we have already assigned to two different VLAN data VLAN as well as wise VLAN that's why if we execute the command so VLAN excuse me so VLAN we will not able to see port number f0 slash 10 we have 9 we have 11 but we do not have port f0 slash 10 even we do not have that VLAN as well so what happened if I recycle this device or reboot this device your device going to create that VLAN if you have saved the startup config so that's good and another solution is sorry another problem is why VLAN automatically created after power recycle even after deleted from the database in flash so as I told you earlier what happened if you delete your VLAN from the database in flash as well but maybe some port is assigned to that particular VLAN because of that your switch automatically going to assign or create that VLAN so this was a long video but end of the day be able to understand this terminology this technology and these things so so far we have discussed in this video uh, what is VLAN number of VLAN type of VLAN VLAN assignment creation of VLAN and the port role of VLAN uh, <laughs> apart from port of VLAN we have also discussed the valid mode of port to form a trunk link what is different between administratively mode versus operational mode or what is different between administratively mode and operational mode and some troubleshooting command how we can verify which port working as a trunk which port working as a access port so we need to execute this command to verify that thing uh, and the characteristics of trunk uh, characteristics of trunk port and access port what is the task of trunk port what is the task of access port and what is different between these two different kind of ports an encapsulation an encapsulation going to add with particular frame this is untagged or naked frame and if you are using dot one q dot one q going to add this information sorry this one and if you are using ISL that no longer supported uh, even with Cisco so that will use ISL so header as well as trailer sorry uh, yep header and trailer managing VLAN database and troubleshooting so I hope we have successful completed the objective of this video so thanks for watching